I work with plenty of married couples. They struggle, they fight, but they will never cheat. The woman will never cheat on the man. She loves him and she would do anything for him and he would do anything for her. And because of that, a true bond is created. That's meaning in life. You won't find happiness by yourself. You won't find happiness by yourself. You won't find happiness by yourself. Red pill, everything wrong with red pill exposed. He's exposing the red pill, guys. Now, if you look down here, <laughs> just to prepare you, 851 likes, 1.3 thousand dislikes. That should already prepare you, right, for his take. I am telling you there are women out there that you can heal that pain, that trauma, that insecurity. And you can... Honestly, go toward love. And I'm not talking about fucking fake Disney bullshit. I'm talking about true unconditional love. The true love that a mother has for her son. That a father has for their daughter. You can have that with a partner where, where they can fully accept you for the way you are. All your insecurities. Every part of you. Where you feel like you don't have to put on this facade of this guy who's like uber masculine. That, oh, this is what the girl wants. Trust me. She does want a masculine man, but she wants a man that can open up, be vulnerable, right? And not from a needy place of, oh, I'm sharing my vulnerability out of weakness. No, because you don't need something. You're opening up because it's hard to open up, right? It is masculine to express yourself, every feeling. You teach me and I'll teach you. Fade em on. Gotta catch em on. Gotta catch em on. Fade em on. Gotta catch em on. Is. This reminds me, this reminds me right here, this guy and <laughs> yes, this guy, I'll say, he reminds me of, let's just say that you are in middle school or high school and you're going to ask somebody's older sister, older big sister for advice about women. This sounds an awful lot like the advice you would get. He like asks the older, hey, what is it? What do I need to do as a guy to get a girl? It's like, this is like the older sister advice that she gives to some guy. <laughs> it's like the, just to keep them, keep them in the hypnosis, keep them sleeping. <laughs> it's just, just horrible advice. Just absolutely horrible advice. Oh, wait, wait, wait. But guys, even if, You've never found it in your life. And even if you don't know anybody, even if you can't even find it on the internet of somebody that has found this unconditional love, romantic love with a woman, don't worry, guys. Trust him. I wonder if he thought that I would make a note exactly at this point in the video to make sure to show you guys this again, maybe two or three times. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. He sounds, he sounds he sounds like he's really trying hard to convince you to trust him. Trust me. Trust me, guys. You won't get screwed over. Do it. Trust me. Trust me. It's your it's your vulnerabilities you had as a child that made you think this way. Trust me. It'll all work out even if you've never heard of it working out. Trust me. Trust me. <laughs> God. Trust me. Now, guys, I'm going to keep it plain. Remember, though, trust him. And I'm going to tell you why you should trust him. He has a lot of success with women. He's figured out the game plan. You'll hear it in just a moment. Right? And not from a needy place of, oh, I'm sharing my vulnerability out of weakness. No, because you don't need something. You're opening up because it's hard to open up. Right? It is masculine to express yourself every feeling. It is not weakness. And if you sit there and hold on to these beliefs that somehow women are out to fucking get you, that women are out to screw you over, that they, they, they naturally are selfish because one woman in your life was, or two, I've had three that fucked me over. My first three girlfriends all cheated on me. And instead of looking at, oh, all women are evil, which I could have easily done, I sat there and I said, what was it about me? What was it about my beliefs that led to this? 
Hey, trust him, guys. His first three girlfriends cheated on him. But trust him, he's found the secret. He has found the secret sauce that makes any woman fall unconditionally in love with you. He's got Mike's secret stuff to any Space Jam fans. Didn't you forget something? What? Your secret stuff. <laughs> Wow! Whoa! Nice deltoid! Play along! Hey, stop hogging it, Mike! We're your teammates! Secret stuff! <laughs> Trust me! <sighs> oh man, and just, just in case he does see this, I hope he understands this. I don't think all women are evil. Most guys I talk to don't. It's kind of fun, you know, some people in their comments get creative and whatnot. But most guys don't think all women are evil. We think we understand women. The red pill is about understanding women, just understanding the truth about it. And uh, society has allowed for hypergamy to get out of control. So I don't think women are evil. I just think that the way society is set up right now, it's a stupid and horrible idea for a man to commit to something long-term like marriage when you're legally involved. Those who say don't know those who know don't say I'm done walking with the herd It's time I go my own way Just a stupid idea I don't think women are evil I enjoy hanging out with women, I do I think they're kind of fun But if you go into it with your blue pill mindset here And you convince other guys to just open up Share all your insecurities Share all your vulnerabilities You are going to be screwed And you're not even going to see it coming You're going to get in big time trouble When you walk when you walk around with this mindset. Like I saw some of you guys say the, the hope mindset. The hope mindset, absolutely. Yeah, all three girls cheat on him. and he, But trust him, he's got the solution for unconditional love from a woman. Unconditional love. Trust me. <laughs> I wish I could bring up the like the, the WAP roundtable video right now where all these women are bragging about like these days it's all about making men pay. I got these kids from sucking and fucking. At the end of the day, me being a hoe, like these people say, like, honestly, I liberate a lot of a lot of hoes. You feel me? When I hear Cardi talk about popping some pussy, me and my bitches is with it. Like, we, that liberate us because it's like, fuck you, self-respect is hoes. Cause how y'all got self-respect? <laughs> like, I don't think y'all got self-respect like that. Because first of all, you supposed to tax these niggas. That's self-respect. You feel me? Like, I just, it make me feel liberated. Like, I love crossing boundaries. That empowers women, making, getting back at men. That's like what empowers them. But trust me, go in with an open heart. Share your emotions. You'll be fine. Trust me. Trust me. And it stopped. I work with plenty of married couples. They struggle, they fight, but they will never cheat. The woman will never cheat on the man. She loves him and she would do anything for him and he would do anything for her. And because of that, a true bond is created. That's meaning in life. You won't find happiness by yourself. Oh yeah, I'm gonna rewind that one again. I'm gonna rewind that one again. I sat there and I said, what was it about me? What was it about my beliefs that led to this? And it stopped. I work with plenty of married couples. They struggle, they fight, but they will never cheat. The woman will never cheat on the man. Hey, you guys hear that? Joshi says the woman will never. He works with married couples and the woman would never. The woman would never cheat on the man. Trust me. And Joshi got her word on it. And since we know, guys, I'm going to throw a wink, wink at you if you're new to my channel. This is sarcasm. <laughs> we know that you can always believe what women say. <laughs> always believe what they say. Never believe what they do. Always believe what they say. Again, for any new guys, I just have to be flat out on it. I'm being sarcastic, guys. It's a horrible idea. Don't worry, guys. I did not forget about this last part because this last part is going to help spring us into his other video. She loves him and she would do anything for him and he would do anything for her. And because of that, a true bond is created. Okay, and by the way there, the true bond that's created. Yeah, 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 yeah. We know. It's called pair bonding. It used to happen. It used to happen. But these days, when you got girls that are 19 that have 50 to 100 sexual partners, you, don't, you think their pair bonding is still there? And then they're going to settle at 30 years old these days? 
not at 19 anyway, when she was already, her pair bonding was broken. So this bond you're speaking of, you might be speaking with 75-year-old couples, some old people that were traditional when they got, but this, today's society, again, just look at Cardi B WAP, and it, it sums it all up. <laughs> but she would never cheat on him. She gave Joshy Boy her word. She would never cheat on him. All right, guys, here it is. Here it is. Here is the mic drop moment for Joshy Boy. That's meaning in life. You won't find happiness by yourself. True self You won't find happiness by yourself. Chalk it up, Joshy Boy. Trust me! You won't find happiness by yourself. Women can love you unconditionally, romantically. <laughs> and the married couples that Joshy Boy has sat on the couch with, the women would never, ever cheat on their husbands. Those are all things you can trust Joshy on. Yikes. It comes when you can match and mesh with the feminine who challenges you to become a better person. You stop growing by on your own. All right, you we're gonna, down. we're about to get to the end here, guys. At this pain, at this bitterness, is a voice telling you that you're somehow not good enough? Because that is a false self, that your true self is. You don't have to do anything extra or special. As these words would leave my mouth, I know a part of you knows the truth that's coming from it. Right? That I know there's probably someone in your life that fully accepts you for who you are in all capacities, every single one, man or woman, it is possible. And as cliche as it fucking sounds, you have to accept and love yourself first. That's the beginning. But remember, from his words and stuff, you can never be happy alone, but... The beginning is you have to learn how to love yourself first, but you can never be happy alone. <laughs> you won't find happiness by yourself. I work with plenty of married couples. They struggle, they fight, but they will never cheat. The woman will never cheat on the man. She loves him and she will do anything for him and he would do anything for her. And because of that, a true bond is created. That's meaning in life. You won't find happiness by yourself. And as cliche as it fucking sounds, you have to accept and love yourself first. That's the beginning. You won't find happiness by yourself. <laughs> how do do people actually, how does he have 60,000 subscribers? Oh wait, I know. How do any of these crazy channels have all these subscribers? The more subscribers they have, the more blue-pilled they are most of the time. Uh, guys like Better Bachelor, Coach Greg Adams, they've been able to grow their channel um, up to you know like 100,000 subscribers. Obviously, I'm not talking about those guys, but any of the channels with like millions of views, you know. They're fantastic. 60,000 subscribers? I'm willing to help you with that if you really want help. What I love about Red Pill and the guys in it is that they're seeking truth. But truth is very subjective in a lot of ways. And truth is subjective in a lot of ways, guys. You're going to hear about his truth. My body, my choice. Truth is never fully had when it comes from a place of pain and negative emotion. I can lead you to the water and say, look, I know you're thirsty. I know you need this water. And you're sitting there saying, no, I don't want it. I don't need it. Plenty of people go with that water. And I've been poisoned when I drank the water the last time, maybe the last two times. And I'm telling you, this water, this water, I've tasted it. It's not poison. I know I've been poisoned too, and it sucks. You almost died. I get it. But this, I've tested this water. I've had plenty of other people drink it. They're all happy with it. They're, they, they are thriving with it. I'm telling you, it is okay to drink that water. It is okay to open up. It is okay to change your beliefs. To change beliefs that aren't helping you. That there is a different truth. There's a different truth. Guys. This, this is... I understand how people get into the female blue pill mindset because that's what we're raising. That's what society shapes us in. We watch Disney movies. We hear from our teachers. We hear from everyone we go around. Most men grow up in a feminine mindset, the blue-pilled mindset. What I have a problem with is not that those men have that because I understand why it happens. What I have a problem with is this guy speaking like he's an expert when he clearly doesn't know. That is what I have a problem with. I don't care. I understand why people still have the blue pill mindset. People always have it, and they'll have to learn somehow. They'll have to grow some way. But... Can you imagine the amount of guys, like he said, the hope porn guys, 
the mat the the mental masturbation guys that are like man i i know from everything i've seen and experienced that the red pill is right but this guy trust me this guy is telling me i can have unconditional love how many men has he sent back to the plantation that is the body count that i'm curious about nice hillary clinton type body count i'm sure he's got here of how many guys have died from following his advice and gone back on the plantation had plenty of other people drink it they're all happy with it they're the water they are thriving right. with it i'm telling you it is okay to drink that water it is okay to open up it is okay to change your beliefs to change beliefs that aren't helping you that there is a different truth there's a different truth guys a different truth <laughs> Oh man, here is your quiz. At the end of this video, would you drink Joshy Boy's water? Remember, he's led you to this water. And he, you could drink it, maybe you've been poisoned before, but I'm telling you, this water is good. Oh my gosh. I can lead you to the water and say, look, I know you're thirsty, I know you need this water. And you're sitting there saying, no, I don't want it, I don't need it. Plenty of people go with that water. And I've been poisoned when I drank the water the last time. Maybe the last two times. And I'm telling you, this water, this water, I've tasted it. It's not poison. I know I've been poisoned too and it sucks. You almost died. I get it. But this, I've tested this water. I've had plenty of other people drink it. They're all happy with it. They're, they, they are thriving with it. I'm telling you, it is okay to drink that water. It is okay to open up. It is okay to change your beliefs. Trust me. Would you drink Joshy Boy's water? One, yes, I'm so thirsty. Pun intended. Two, no. Three, no. And he's a total beta mon. Check out the, <laughs> I'll check out the chat for this one, guys. You can lead a simp to water, but you can't make him think. Beautifully said. Beautifully said. Instead of you can lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. <laughs> you can, that's Greg Brown. Props, man. Props. That's a good one. Trust me. All right, oh, actually, I do have a treat for you guys. Before we get to the next video, we have comments, guys. We have some comments to show you what the, other, the rest of the world is thinking about this. All right, so I'm just gonna read these off. If this was the Matrix, you would be Cypher. <laughs> the guy that doesn't want, he wants to go back to the blue pill world. Totally true. <laughs> Best decision ever, he's talking about going red pill. Turn my whole life around. When you look at things for how they really are, you can navigate every aspect of life with less difficulty, period. This is a whole new level of cringy. I really want to love women, but boy, it's hard out there of today when I see so much nastiness from them. This was before the Cardi B WAP video. Why is it an issue when men stand up for what's good for them? Who talked when women started shouting, men ain't she? Good point, Kevin. This video has way too much cognitive dissonance. No logical thought at all. He was he was talking from the emotional, this whole video, Joshy was. Men, you waking up to the red pill is wrong. So go back to lasting true love. But not in the Disney sense of things, but lasting true love with your one true partner. And you even talk about having been cheated on three times using this trash advice. Dude, what is it Einstein said about insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting a different result is a definition of insanity. There's someone for everyone is a painfully obvious logical fallacy. Guys, this has got to give you hope, right? These comments. I had three girls who cheated on me. What was it about me that caused it? Laugh out loud. I love this vid. So blue, I can't even begin. Thumbs down. <laughs> this, this guy says, there's an old saying, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Looks like Pinnacle has yet to learn his lesson. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, share the video, but definitely subscribe.